When it comes to music research, library databases are a valuable tool. They contain articles, books, dissertations, music, and more. Databases make it easy to find all sorts of information that you're going to need for your papers, assignments, and other projects. You can see a list of all our databases on the Music Library website. Click Database List under the big search bar. This takes you to a complete list of all music databases. To see a selection of the main databases to use, visit the Music Resources page from our website. This way, you can browse databases by the type of content they offer, such as encyclopedias, journal articles, streaming audio and video, etc. So, which of these databases do you really need? Well, that's what I'm here to tell you. If you're writing a music paper, here are the five databases you should use. Number one, Oxford Music Online. As databases go, this should be the first one you use for your research. It contains encyclopedia articles and the entire New Grove Dictionary of Music and Musicians, plus several other important dictionaries. The New Grove's Dictionary is the premier encyclopedic resource for music. Articles in Oxford Music Online are written by scholars on the subject. When you're viewing an article, notice on the left-hand side the table of contents, and all the way at the bottom is a link to the bibliography. Keep an eye out for these. A bibliography in the New Grove's entry for Beethoven will give you a thorough list of sources. Some bibliographies organize their sources by topical headings, so you can scroll through and look for sources relevant to your own topic. A final feature to point out about New Grove is that entries for composers will often have authoritative complete works lists, which can help your research. So that's Oxford Music Online. Start here with your research. Look for an entry broadly related to your research topic, like a composer, read it through to get an overview, then look at the bibliography for more sources to track down. Number two, Oxford Bibliographies. Another really useful database to use at the early stage of your research this is a database of annotated bibliographies by subject, such as composer, genre, or music period. You can try searching for a composer or topic, but we recommend browsing the A to Z list instead. Let's look at the Bach entry to see how this database works. Here you'll see a list of sources about Bach organized under various headings. You'll see the citation for the source, and then an abstract, or summary, telling you what the source is and what information it contains. This helps you determine if a source is worth pursuing. Use the sidebar menu on the left to find an appropriate facet of this topic. Let's say you're doing a paper on Bach's harpsichord music. Well, there's a category for that. Click the category link to jump to the appropriate section. I cannot stress how valuable this resource is, especially if you're doing a paper about a major composer or their works. It doesn't have every music subject or composer covered, but depending on your topic, it can fast track your research by helping you find the right sources. Number three, Music Periodicals Database. If you're writing a paper on a music topic, this is an essential database to use. It contains articles from over 200 music journals. When you enter your keyword search, be sure to check the full text box and exclude reviews box by the search bar. 
Doing so will limit your results to articles that can be read online. Since some articles in this database are only represented by abstracts or citations. Excluding reviews is a good idea because that will filter out all of the book reviews that are published in journals. These aren't intended for researchers and will only clutter your search results. Notice that on the left hand side you have options to limit your results in various ways. For example, by the type of article such as those found in scholarly journals, newspapers, or magazines. An especially handy feature in databases like this is the ability to automatically generate a citation for the item you found in virtually any citation style. Just select the one you want from the drop-down menu, and the citation is ready to be copied and pasted into your own bibliography, after checking it over for accuracy, of course. Number 4. JSTOR This is another great database for finding music articles. JSTOR is a humanities database with a lot of articles and even books available to read online. The content in JSTOR is especially strong for musicology, music theory, and music education. It will have articles not available in the music periodicals database and vice versa, so be sure to use both. The interface looks a bit different, but it functions in a similar manner with a simple search bar, advanced search options, and filters on the left side to narrow your results. You can download PDFs of the articles or just read them in the database. And notice that JSTOR has the familiar generate citation feature. Number 5. ProQuest Dissertations and Theses This next database looks virtually identical to the Music Periodicals database. That's because it runs on the same platform, ProQuest. The interface may be the same, but the database content is entirely different. This is a comprehensive collection of doctoral dissertations and master's theses in all disciplines published around the world since the 18th century. If you're doing a research paper on a music topic, definitely look here. You're likely to find hundreds and thousands of dissertations related to your topic. Most of these are full text, that is, the entire dissertation can be read online. Dissertations often contain substantial research and very lengthy bibliographies. These will help you track down books and articles you need for your own paper. Like other databases I've showed you, you can also generate a citation for the thesis or dissertation. Just select the citation style you want from the drop-down menu. Those are the five databases every music student should know. To recap, if you're writing papers, use Oxford Music Online and Oxford Bibliographies first. With these, you can explore the foundations of your research topic and discover bibliographies. Next, be sure to use Music Periodicals Database and JSTOR which are crucial for finding scholarly articles. Lastly, ProQuest dissertations and theses will facilitate even more in-depth research. Remember, if you ever need help with your research or using databases, ask a librarian. The Music Library has knowledgeable staff who can help you. To reach us, just visit our website and click Get Help from the menu bar at the top. From there, you can see all the ways to contact us. We'll be glad to help you.